Power is competence. I don't think that you have any insight whatsoever into your capacity for good until you have some well-developed insight into your capacity for evil. It took untold generations to get you where you are. A little gratitude might be in order. Whether the gods are inside or outside makes very little difference to whether there are gods. In order to be able to think, you have to risk being offensive. Always place your becoming above your current being. There are some games you don't get to play unless you are all in. Stop saying those things that make you weak and ashamed. Say only those things that make you strong. Do only those things that you could speak of with honor. If you cannot understand why someone did something, look at the consequences and infer the motivation. Worthlessness is the default condition. If you betray yourself, if you say untrue things, if you act out a lie, you weaken your character. It's appropriate and praiseworthy to associate with people whose lives would be improved if they saw your life improve. So, attend carefully to your posture. Quit drooping and hunching around. Speak your mind. Put your desires forward as if you had a right to them, at least the same right as others. Walk tall and gaze forthrightly ahead. Dare to be dangerous. Encourage the serotonin to flow plentifully through the neural pathways desperate for its calming influence. Make friends with people who want the best for you. You're going to pay a price for every bloody thing you do and everything you don't do. You don't get to choose to not pay a price. You get to choose which poison you're going to take. Treat yourself like someone you are responsible for helping. You can do an awful lot by writing down what happened to you and thinking it through. You can only find out what you actually believe rather than what you think you believe by watching how you act. You simply don't know what you believe before that, you are too complex to understand yourself. If you're going to insist on bending the world to your way, you better have your reason. Intolerance of others' views, no matter how ignorant or incoherent they may be, is not simply wrong. In a world where there is no right or wrong, it is worse. It is a sign you are embarrassingly unsophisticated or possibly dangerous. Be grateful in spite of your suffering. And if you think tough men are dangerous, 
Wait until you see what weak men are capable of.